It doesn't take much. Only about a tablespoon of acetone evaporated inside a 44-gallon drum creates enough vapor to make it explosive. At this kayak manufacturing shop, welding on an empty acetone drum cost a fiberglass worker his life. This is what happened. A worker wanted to make a shop cart from this empty acetone drum. The fiberglass worker offered to weld casters onto the drum for him. To prepare the drum for welding, the worker rinsed out the drum with water and turned it upside down to drain. He replaced the lid's bung caps, then used a grinder to clean four areas for the welds. The fiberglass worker started to weld but had trouble. He asked the shop's owner to check the welder's settings. The owner performed a test weld on the lid. He adjusted the welder's settings and gave the welding gun back. The fiberglass worker then attempted to weld on a caster by making a tack weld. As he began a second weld, the welding arc burned through the lid. Acetone vapor inside the drum ignited, exploding and throwing the worker across the room. He would later die from his injuries. Lab testing of the fluid remaining in the drum showed that the drum, even though it had been rinsed, contained enough residual acetone to become explosive.